Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm going to show you how to make chocolate cheesecake. Mmm, yummy. For those of you who follow the show and watched a lot of the episodes, you know that I love cheesecake and I have, I think, three other cheesecake videos already. But this method, I have not done this method on a, on a, as a video yet, and we're going to be doing a water bath with this. Um, there are a lot of recipes that call for a water bath, a lot of cheesecake recipes, and this one does as well. So I'll show you that method as well. Um, I am using this uh, Springform pan by Kukeris. Uh, they sent this to me to, to check it out and to use it. It's a really, really cool product. They are also offering a 15% discount to the viewers of this show. Um, so down below in the description, you'll find a link um, for this and the 15% discount. Pretty awesome. All right. They're pretty easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's get baking. First, let's preheat our oven to 320 degrees Fahrenheit. And now what we wanna do is we wanna create our base or our, our bottom crust of the cheesecake. And for this, I am gonna use Oreo cookies and I'm gonna use 24 Oreo cookies. I'm gonna put them in my food processor here. If you don't have a food processor and would like to get one, I'll put a link down below for the one that I use. I really like it. Or you can just use a big plastic bag and use your rolling pin or like a, a, meat, a, a meat tenderizer and just pound the cookies that way. All right, I'm gonna put the lid on and just pulse this a little bit. Nice, got a nice bunch of crumbs in there. And then I wanna add my melted butter. I am using one fourth cup of melted butter. Pulse it again. All right, great. My cookie crumbs are well coated with the butter and it's gonna resemble like a thick uh, sand. All right, here we have my 10 inch spring form pan. Again, this is by Kukeris. One thing I really like about this is the premium build quality, just really, nicely built. Also the uh, non-stick feature. Um, I still coat it with butter or you could use a, a spray if you want. Also, since we are gonna do a water bath, I want to take my aluminum foil here and we are going to cover up the bottom with foil. Now this particular pan is more leak proof than others, which is really cool. Um, so it handles really thin batters and whatnot, but we don't want water to seep in from our heat bath. So we just use some tin foil, aluminum foil, and go up both the sides. Okay, great. Now we wanna put in our cookie crumbs. And then using your fingers, or I just got this like flat um, mug here. Let's go ahead and even out these cookie crumbs. Okay, that's good enough. Now we're gonna put this in the oven that we preheated at 320. And we're gonna go ahead and let the crumbs um, bake for about eight minutes, um, just so they set for us. All right, I took the cookie crumb base out of the oven. And I'm just gonna let it sit here on a wire rack until it cools to room temperature. In the meantime, let's go ahead and create our filling. Now we are starting with three um, eight ounce uh, blocks of cream cheese. Um, so 24 ounces total. And we want it to be room temperature. That's important. We want it to be room temperature. All right. It makes it a lot easier to uh, beat it up. So let's go ahead and uh, beat this on low to medium low. If you have a paddle attachment with a stand mixer, go ahead and use that. I'm gonna use my hand mixer. Also room temperature cream cheese really helps to get a nice smooth batter. I'm gonna use my handy little uh, silicone spatula that I got with my, that came free with my spring form pan and just scrape down the sides a little here. Okay, and we don't wanna like beat this thing to death. If you put too much air into the batter, you run the risk of getting cracks later on. Now we're gonna add our sugar. This is one cup of granulated sugar. We'll mix that together. 
Very nice. Scrape down the side with our spatula. I also really like this silicone spatula. It's my new favorite spatula. And now we're gonna add in our two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Um, this adds a nice little extra cocoa chocolatey flavor. Um, you can leave it out if you want. Scrape the sides. And now we wanna add our eggs one at a time. Now these eggs are at room temperature. We really want room temperature eggs and room temperature cream cheese. Looking very good. Add in our next egg. Add in our last egg. Add in our two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Remember, we're just mixing until it's just incorporated. We don't want to over mix. At this point, we want to take our 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and I'm gonna go ahead and melt these. You can melt them in like a double boiler, or I'm just gonna do the microwave, uh, 25, 30 seconds on high, stir, 25, 30 seconds on high, stir, until it's just melted. All right, I have my chocolate melted here. Now, if the chocolate is still too warm, then you're gonna just Go ahead and let it sit, or you can just stir it a little bit until it gets to uh, a nicer temperature. Just a little bit above room temperature is fine. We just don't want it to be really hot. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix it one last time. All right. And then go ahead and clean the beaters. It's really nice and smooth. All right, we got our cookie base there. Now let's just go ahead and put in our Cream cheese filling. Using our spatula to get all the little bits out. We don't want to waste any of this amazing batter. Great, and then we'll just use our spatula and we'll just spread it out evenly. All right, and then once you have it nice and spread out, it is time to bake this bad boy. So we're gonna go ahead and take our roasting pan and we're gonna go ahead and take our cheesecake and put it in right like that. And then we're gonna fill in hot water, really hot water. A lot of times people use boiling water. Let's um, put in enough water to where it uh, covers up about an inch um, bottom of your roasting pan onto that step. And then we are gonna bake this for 45 to 50 minutes. At 50 minutes, you can check it, okay? And it's gonna be a little jiggly in the middle and that's how you know that it's done onto that step. So the reason why water baths are often used with cheesecake is because it provides a nice, hot, humid environment inside the oven, and it helps um, the cheesecake bake nice and evenly and helps to prevent cracks. All right, all right, look at this. Looks amazing. So what I did is after 50 minutes, I turned off the heat, and then I just let it sit in the oven um, for about 30 minutes. And then I cracked open the oven door with a wooden spoon and then let it sit for another 30 minutes. And now you just let it sit at room temperature for the rest of the time until it cools completely down. All right, so the cheesecake is definitely done like this, but what else can we do with this? So what we can do is we can make a simple ganache and just put it on top. One, it'll be absolutely phenomenal and taste amazing. Plus, it'll cover up any cracks that you might have. So for this simple ganache, well, you take um, some chocolate. I just have a little bit of milk chocolate chips and some semi-sweet. This is uh, just slightly over a half a cup. It's about two thirds of a cup of chocolate. And then I'm gonna add about a half a cup of really, really hot cream. Um, I just put this cream in the microwave until it started to um, bubble on top. So it's really hot, or you can do it on the stove top. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this hot cream over my chocolate chips. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just let this sit. I'm not gonna touch it. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and let this sit for 10 minutes. All right, nice. And then we just come in here with a spoon and we'll just stir our chocolate in with our cream. Great. And then what we're gonna do is come back over here to our cheesecake. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this on. You wanna check to make sure it's not too hot um, before you do this. If it is, just let it cool down a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just gonna come in here with this cake spatula. And just go ahead and go around. Awesome. And now what I wanna do is I wanna take these um, raspberries. I'm gonna find a big one here and put it in the middle and then go all around it. Beautiful, isn't that really neat? All right, now we wanna cover it. Another reason why I love this um, Springform pan is it comes with this nice lid and it's ready to go just like that. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and let it set completely. I'm gonna do it overnight, um, but you wanna do it at least four to five hours before you try to serve it. All right, my cheesecake sat in the fridge overnight. And now I wanna show you a cool little trick on how to uh, get it out of the spring form pan. You don't have to follow this uh, method. I saw another YouTuber do it and I thought, I thought it was really cool. So what you do is you just take your cheesecake, um, you'll take the uh, covering off, obviously. Looks awesome. And then you'll put it on some kind of a container and then, I'll turn this around, and then you'll open it up and then it'll, uh, it'll release itself from um, the sides and pull it right up. And there you go, an amazing cheesecake out of its pan. Awesome. All right, the chocolate cheesecake is done. Turned out fantastic. Really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Some things to note is uh, for the toppings, very versatile, this cheesecake. Um, you could leave off the ganache, you could leave off the fruit and just have it plain if you want. Or you could put the ganache on and then just serve fruit separately afterwards instead of putting it inside the ganache like I did. Um, you could use powdered sugar. You can even put powdered sugar on here right now. Um, you can just use like a chocolate syrup and put it on there. Whipped cream, so many different toppings that you can use. I'll leave that up to you to decide. Can't wait to dive into this tomorrow at my party. Again, I don't wanna dive into it right now because I want it to look nice and pretty for the party tomorrow. Also keep your cheesecake safe inside of your springform pan with the little lid that comes with it. Um, they, uh, Kukaris, the company that is uh, selling those, um, is offering 15% discount to my viewers in case you want to pick up that pan from them. And uh, don't forget, it comes with a nice little um, bonus uh, gift, a little uh, silicone spatula, which I really like. So yeah, I'll put a link down below in case you want to pick that up. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Also down below, you'll find in the description links to my other social media accounts and my other YouTube channel in case you wanna check that out as well as all the ingredients and whatnot for this cheesecake. Take care.